It's the second day of the investigative hearing, and the hearing room had more people in attendance. The chairman of the House Committee on Aviation set the tone for the meeting. The House of Representatives will not fold its arms and allow a few individuals to continue to drag the image of, of its name or the name of this country in the mud due to perceived greed or incompetence of these few individuals. The first to address the committee was the Nigeria Customs Service. The duty was supposed to be 10 million, 100 and 3,500 naira for the seven quarters to be But that duty was not paid. That duty was not paid before the second court had an equal duty of the certificate issued by the Federal Ministry of Finance. The beneficiary of this equal duty certificate should have been later sent to government through Mass for Charles Motor Limited for the 18th National Sports Festival, April 2012. The president of Coach Charis Mottles led a team to the hearing. They spoke on the procedure followed on the purchase of the cars and all the issues raised by the committee. All the required men that constitutionally that is required to bring the vehicle into the country, we followed all those due process. We were interviewed by SSS, we were interviewed by national security advisors, and they showed us, they issued the end user certificate for this vehicle to be brought into this country. And we follow those two process. Every requirement by law was followed, was duly followed. The way it works is that the waiver comes in or kicks in at almost the three lights of the event, so there is really no, no option than to mobilize what we have in stock and then um, subsequently we use the waiver to bring in the vehicles. The lawmakers also sought to address the cost of the vehicles. We represent manufacturers. Now, the car in question, the, the car which is the subject matter, was armored by the manufacturer. And like I said, and this is really an invite, I was in touch with me at BMW, and you can come to verify this price. I've given you a price. Please, please verify with the manufacturer. The company was asked to furnish the committee with documents to explain why the chassis number of one of the vehicles the lawmakers saw was different. The committee has, however, given the Minister of Aviation, who was absent, an ultimatum to appear before it unfailingly on Thursday. The committee says if she fails to appear, it will be taken that she doesn't want to attend the hearing. Lanre Lassese, Channels Television News.